Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend in XO. Today we are going to learn a framework which is called uh, DVA. It's used for the React framework. You may ask me why I teach you guys this. Well, I don't want to teach you guys this framework, and basically, I even don't want to use this framework. But why I have to learn it? Well, it's simple because this is a framework that was used in a history project of the company that I'm be. That I am working on right now. Um, so I must learn this kind of stuff to be able to do some modification for the history project of my company. Well, this framework is based on the JavaScript. Uh, so technically, if you are using TypeScript, you can just ignore it. It doesn't work. It won't work well with that. All right, enough talking. Let's get into it. First, we need to install this kind of thing. Okay, we successfully installed this framework. Now we go on. We create a new. Application. Yes, I insisted using this. Okay, that's it. Now we got a folder called、uh, DVA. Then let's go to the DVA folder. From there, we say npm start, and this is the page that we are getting. This is how it looks like as a the application. This is the simply structure, simplest structure for. Uh, this framework, but for all application, can it's a little bit more complex. You have to go to the root. Oh, maybe go to the router here, and it will go to the indexed page right in here. So this is probably the application that you finally say on the web page. So we can change this to welcome.、Uh, we could say hi in socks. Oh, welcome to Debbie. And here we go. We got it right. And this is. Another simplest structure with a model inside of it. For our application, it doesn't have a model yet, but we shall add it right in here. And it requires model example, the default one. It's just something like this. I don't know if you can understand it or not. If it's, if you are not, um, don't worry. I will lead through you. I will lead you through this. At the beginning, it says the state is an is a variable that saves a lot of data inside of it. If that's true, here I'm gonna put the data inside of it. Let's say I call it number. I'd like to call it number. And at the beginning, I would like to put this number zero to it. Then the problem is, how can we access this number from our web page, from our HTML code?、Uh, all right, guys, welcome back.、Uh, after a few. Search and experiment. Now I got a post here. He said that、uh, we could use、uh, this kind of code to be able to let it work. For using it, first <laughs> you have to let's say change the connect function. For the connect, now it becomes a function. And for this function, it would take the example, example, example. You may ask me where this example comes from. Well, it's coming from the model. Because the lamp space for this is called example, and then you need to change the component into a form like this with the arrow symbol. Uh, because only in this way you could be able to get the properties, and inside of the properties, the most、uh, valuable value that we care about is the、uh, example, because we can use it to access the number, and that number was defined in here.、But、now it's equal to zero. If we go to the page, yeah, it's zero. But what if I change it to seven? And we save it. Now we can see the number comes seven. Yeah, the the post, the author of this post also said that、uh, this kind of usage by using connect is kind of disgusting. Why you have to make things so complicated? So in a new version of DVA, it uses a more simpler way to get data back for the view for the HTML view. Um, but it's only available. In in DVA 2.6 version, but for most of us, if you are still using an older One, we the version of DVA for us is not the latest one. I don't know why. That's not a. It's not a normal thing. That only indicates me that、uh, this patchy probably had has already been been abandoned by those developers. But、uh, anyway, since I only know this for doing the work for my company, so um, even if it's an old patch, we 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 shall still. Go on with it because we cannot avoid it. Since since I'm still have to work for this company. Um. Anyway, now we are able to get the data from the storm. Another problem problem comes out. How can I change the state? And for this kind of problem, I just found another page. It says, uh, we can use the use effect to trigger an effect. And to me, it's a function. As a function here, it's called effect. Was that a good line? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna change it to change. And for this function, does is to call another function called do. And in here, I'm gonna make a function which has a lamb 
of 2. Yeah, and I'm go also going to say stat that number plus equal to 1. Okay, then if we want to change the number here, all we have to do is call a function called uh, change. Now we need to have a, have a button like uh, scene. So I'll just uh, create a button, fake button. And for this button, it should call a function. For example, now we got a function called change number. I'm going to assign it to this uh, one. Uh, we got an error. This purge is not defined. So this function should be put inside of this component. Now if we click the fake button, we got an error. Nice try. How about we just uh, move the this purge out and delete the use effect kind of thing. Now if we click this button again, as you can see the number goes up as we as we expected. Awesome. So for now, we got a basic idea of how to how to use the DVA date and its model and how to you know change the data access the data I guess that's enough we do not need to do anything else. In the end, let's go and check about the DVA packaging. From here you can see the latest version is 2.4 but here's the problem. It was published three years ago. Oh my god. Did you ever see a NPM packaging that, that was, was released three years ago and you still want to use it? No. You definitely do not want to do that because that only means one thing which is it's been abandoned. Okay, this is today's video. I will see you guys in the next time. Bye.